guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you the yarn I'm going to be taking with me on my little trip. So I said in a couple, either my last video or a couple of videos back, I mentioned that I'm going to visit my grandma for a few weeks. So of course that means I have to bring yarn with me because this is usually, anytime I go and visit her, I usually get a lot of designing done during that time period just because it's a little bit more relaxed and everything. So I decided to pack a huge bag full of yarn and I want to show you guys what I'm going to bring with me. So some of this yarn may look a little bit familiar just because I did mention it in my Hobby Lobby haul. Um, so I won't talk too much about it just because I did talk about it quite a bit in that video. So I'll get those first. So I am bringing the Yarn B Wrapology Hues in the shade Bittersweet. And I have three of these and I'm going to be designing a crocheted vest. I think it's going to be really cute for spring and summer, so I'm really excited. This is probably going to be like one of the top items I'm going to design while I'm away. So I'm really excited about this, and I already can envision it, and I'm so excited to get it down on paper and then actually make it. So I'm going to be really looking forward to working with this yarn, and I'm even thinking maybe about doing a yarn review on it because it's kind of a unique yarn and it might be a little bit helpful for people who don't know if they want to use this yarn or not. So this is the first batch I'm bringing. I am also bringing the Yarn B. This is the Soft and Sleek DK version, and I have two of these. The They're in the shade Ocean Wave, and I'm going to be making kind of a shawl type item out of these um, two skeins, so I'm really excited about that and that's probably going to be another item that I really want to design and get out there pretty quickly because it's starting to warm up a little bit and so shawls are helpful for spring but not so much in the summer, so I am really excited about bringing this and it's such soft yarn. Like, I have to say, Hobby Lobby kills it with their soft and sleek line. All of them are so soft and all of them are also very affordable, which I do appreciate. And like I said in my Hobby Lobby video, I really wish that they had more colors of this line because it is such a great quality yarn. They just do not have a ton of colors, but that's okay. I am really excited to be working with this blue color. And then the last yarn that I mentioned in that video, this is the Yarn B Sweet Minis in the shade Mint and Strawberries. And I'm thinking about making some sort of like greeny square back pocket to attach to your jeans. So I'm not sure what, exactly what that looks like yet, but I think these are going to be the perfect size of yarn and also the perfect colors for it. So I'm really excited about that one. I'm also going to be bringing this big, huge skein of Lion Brand Pound of Love. I am determined to make a shirt or something out of this where you only need one skein to make a garment. I think that would be really awesome. And this is in the shade Denim. And I just, I have eyed this color for quite a long time. I just love the blue color. It's such a very pretty, vibrant, royal blue. So I'm really excited to be using this. And it's actually pretty soft. It's not as soft as the Soft and Sleek from Hobby Lobby, but it's not super rough or anything. So I'm really excited to be making something out of this also. Okay, so this is kind of a odd item I'm bringing with me, but I found these at Hobby Lobby. This is some twine that I found in their clearance department, and it's from their party section, and it's in this really pretty gray color, and they were only a dollar each, so I bought all of them that were on clearance, so I have a total of six of them. I actually read the label wrong, and I thought it said 200 yards, and it actually is only 200 feet. <laughs> kind of a moment that I just was not paying attention. I just glanced at the label and was like, oh my goodness. So I don't really have as much as I thought I had initially. So I'm thinking about making some sort of small project out of this. I'm not really sure what. I have a couple ideas. So I might play around with them. But like I said, I have six of them. It's kind of a different type of fiber to be crocheting with. I'm really excited about trying something different. So we will see what I come up with with these items. We'll see. And the next little yarn I'm bringing is this one by Yarn Bee also. And I believe you say it, Arabella. 
Arabella and it's just I have two skeins but this one I tr started a project on and I ended up ripping it out so I just roll it into a ball so I'm bringing these two skeins and I am thinking about trying to make a sun hat out of them because I think that this color it's really beautiful it goes from like an orange to a peach and it goes kind of back to an orange and eventually ends up being a red color I think it'd be a really pretty color for summer just because I don't know oranges yellows bright colors always remind me of summer but I just think this would be a really cute sun hat so I'm looking forward to hopefully trying to get this one done also and then the last project I'm going to be making with this yarn or I should say this is the last bit of yarn that I'm going to be bringing with me and there's quite a few skeins. So I'm going to be bringing this paint box yarn and this is in the shade. I don't think it has a shade color so it's shade 152 and it's this really beautiful light pink shade. And then I'm also bringing paint box color 133 which is this beautiful aqua color. And then I'm not sure what brand these are. I know some of them are paint box and some of them are Stylecraft, um, the Stylecraft DK weight. So there's this beautiful pink color, this beautiful light blue, this very vibrant, I would kind of say a magenta pomegranate color, this beautiful kind of mint green without it's very a true I have to say like a true minty green which is very beautiful and then this uh, I just love this purple and I'm not a huge fan of purple but I really do love this purple it is like this um kind of plummy but vibrant plummy color so this I'm gonna be making a skirt out of and I'm really excited to be working with some DK weight because most of my skirts have all been I guess I've had a couple skirts that have been lighter weight, but usually I um, kind of focus on worsted weight. So I'm really excited to be working with some DK weight and some very vibrant colors, which I think are going to be perfect for spring and summer. And I already have an idea of how I want to design this skirt, so I'm really excited about it. And of course, I'll keep you guys updated on all these projects. I have very high ambitions to finish or at least start the majority of these projects but who knows once I get there what will happen I'm hoping though to finish at least a couple of them but I'm really excited so I just thought I'd show you guys the yarn I'm bringing with me kind of what's in my travel yarn bag I don't know about you but anytime I travel I always have to bring yarn with me it's actually harder for me to pack for my yarn and my crafting stuff than it is for clothing so I'm kind of weird, but that is how it works out. I think it works out for a lot of knitters and crocheters that way too. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!